Hey, this is Matt with remove-malware.com and as promised I'm going to go ahead and take a look at Dr. Webb's Curate version 5. Uh, after this review, this detection and removal uh, review, I need to get working on the new forums over at uh, remove-malware.com and click uh, the forums button. I've got uh, some, some forums up there now and they seem to be ha happening in place. There's tons of po tons and tons of posts, and uh, a lot of nice guys over there that can help you out with uh, your malware infection, or if you've got a question on a particular security product, or if you just want to talk about whatever. So I'll be on there later tonight, all night, as long as I can stay awake. I got a lot of work to do. Anyway, uh, as soon as this stupid little screensaver goes by. We'll go ahead and start the Dr. Webb um, detection and removal review. I get tons and tons of requests from Dr. Webb fans to take a look at their program. Uh, I use it all the time in safe mode. Uh, it's just an additional, uh, an additional scanner, uh, real-time scanner. Not a real-time scanner, I mean an on-demand scanner. Um, so it has a pretty sweet uh, signature database and can remove a lot of stuff uh, fairly easily. Um, it's usually always my last um, the last part of my one of my scans. I usually run Malwarebytes, uh, super anti-spyware, I might even do spyware doctor and then I'll take a look at you know if, see if there's anything left with uh, Curate. So Curate is small and it's about 11 megs and the cool thing is, is it's updated every day and you can just download the latest copy of it um, just from their site and that's freedrweb.com or drweb.com this is version 5 I just downloaded mine right before this review And uh, once you load Dr. Webb, it'll go ahead and scan your memory, anything running in RAM, and then it'll do an express scan. It'll start your express scan, um, in which case I'd probably stop it because I need to configure uh, Dr. Webb. We need to click our security, or not our security, ah, I keep miss, miss saying everything tonight. We need to click our settings tab and then go ahead and make some modifications. I can't really see any difference over the version 4 and 5 interface. It looks exactly the same, but um, it's not something I really care about. I care about the functionality of uh, Dr. Webb. So what I'm going to go ahead and do is just kind of stop the scan right here. And I want to go ahead and uh, change my settings. I want to scan all files and files and archives. Uh, for infected objects, I want to go ahead and try to cure it. Immovable, incurable objects move. Suspicious, we're going to go ahead and move. Archives move. Containers move. Uh, adware, we're going to move all of that. Dialers, we're going to move dialers. So everything else we just move. It's going to quarantine everything else. And let's take a look at the advanced. I don't need any of that. All right, so we're set. I'm going to do a full scan. Come back and take a look at the results. I'll see you guys in a few. Oh, well, guys, I'm back, and um, unfortunately, during the scan, uh, <coughs> the PC rebooted, so uh, I'm not sure how much I actually got rid of. I'm just going to go into safe mode. Um, like I normally do with Dr. Webb and just run it from there. So I just kind of wanted to update you and let you know. Uh, I'll be right back. Okay guys, um, 
I'm not sure what the first scan detected, but I did do another complete scan after that, and it found 86 more infected files. So I'm assuming that's uh, after um, Windows had crashed. So uh, let's go ahead and reboot and take a look. I should also mention that Dr. Webb is free as well. I'm sure you kind of figured that out. Or Curit. Curit is free. I'm not sure what um, the full version of Dr. Webb is. I haven't tested that out yet. Now, I've never tested um, Dr. Webb on its own. It did get rid of, I'm guessing, probably close to 200 items. Since this is not a real-time scanner, you could load this alongside your your other antivirus or your um your hip system whatever you whatever you're working with let's see what we got Well, so far it's, well, <laughs> I was like, so far it's pretty quiet. Uh, same thing uh, that Avira left over, and that's a fake security center, and it looks like Antivirus 2009. Some other rogue system defender and virus heat. Uh, remind me later. I, I am not sure if uh, if Doctor Webb gets rid of uh, any rogue stuff. It doesn't really appear appear to do that. So, um, hang on. I'm gonna start another video and let's test out our uh, internet real quick. 